baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A song? A song, David? A song. <laughs> Busy Mana, you might know, is Justine's son. So where's Justine? She's right here in front here. So, so proud. Uh, she has a wonderful family with her daughters and her sons. And uh, just been so grateful to have them in the life of the church. So Busy Mana, would you share a little bit about what Jesus means to you? Speak aloud. He died for me on the cross because of my sin and for everybody else. So he's my father-in-law. Amen. 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 Busy we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want you to stay that, stay here because we're going to have a prayer with all of you when we're when we finished. Okay, so just, just, just have a seat there. No, okay. we don't want you to change oh, it. Right. Just, Kathy can give you a towel or somebody can give you a towel. There's some towels behind him. And we'll give you plenty of time to change after. <laughs> This is Benjamin. You just met his brother. Okay. So part of Justine's family. We've had the privilege to know Benjamin for a few years now and seen him grow. I want you to know Benjamin is a delightful and very, very funny young man. <laughs> wonderful, sense, wonderful sense of humor and hope you get the opportunity to know that. But right now, he's going to tell us what Jesus means in his life. Um, he means everything to me. He died at the cross because of me. So that's why I turned to him. Benjamin, we baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> This is Elias, thank you. <laughs> and uh, Elias hasn't been with us as long as uh, some of the other folks have been, but uh, we've been just, have been a real joy 
to get to know him over these last couple of years, and we're going to hear what Jesus means to Elias. Uh, Jesus, he died for us, and he loved everybody. I know he loved me too. And that's <laughs> Elias, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. actually met Passy in an airport. Uh, I met him and his sister and Boniface uh, when they were coming in from St. Louis. How long? Met four years ago? Mm, no, Kansas. Yeah. From yeah. Kansas City, Kansas, I guess. Um, four, year, four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. And uh, it's just been wonderful to see how he's grown as a young man. If you haven't had the opportunity one of these days soon, I know that Boniface is aching to preach in church, but uh, <laughs> but before before his brother, this is his brother, Passy is his brother. Before pass before Boniface gets to preach, I think sometime it'd be fun to hear Pascal preach in church <laughs> because uh, he has preached uh, with the Burundis. He's given teaching down there before, and God's really done a great work in his life. So tell us what Jesus means to you, Pascal. Uh, I mean, in simple words, is like. God Batman. mean everything to me, like, I am a soccer player, and the soccer do is like the coach tell me, you have to pick up that gift. And I say, what well, gift do you have to pick up, coach? Like, I don't know what to do. But they say, like, you can play soccer and have fun and everything you're going to do, but you have to pick up that gift. Like, you're going to be like the man of the world when you have that gift. And I say, like... I have to give myself to Jesus. Like all my friends and everybody that I meet or the people who I talk to is like Jesus' words. And plus, I sing, but I don't know what I'm doing or what's the meaning of singer. I've been in many conferences, but they keep saying the same word, same word. And I say, I'm done with this word stuff and I have to pick up that gift and be like other people and live normal life. So we, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> It has uh it's been a real joy to get to know Lee again. Now some of some of you would recognize Lee from uh from youth group. He was in the church a long time ago when he was just a young teenager and uh, came to youth group. I've had the opportunity to know his family. 
his family for many, many years. But, uh, you know, it's, it's always different when you get to see somebody as a teenager and then you come to meet him again as we did in recent, in recent months as a young man and seeing what, just the amazing things that God has been doing in his life. So we want to give Lee an opportunity to share what Jesus means to him. So I've been thinking about it a lot over the past couple of days when you said I have to make a testimony. Sure, there. just speak on it. Okay. And uh, just to kind of start off, I'll talk about what happened whenever I went and left youth group and kind of started going my own way. I ended up doing a lot of stuff because I like, I just wanted something, you know, like some something substantial, something that I could say, you know, like this is, this is what defines me, this is what I am, this is kind of like what shows who I am and what I mean to the world. And I chased so many things, so many things that were either material or, you know, social or something that people would look at, look for and look after and say, oh, yeah, you know, he has this. This is something that, you know, really shows that he's made it. And after chasing after so many stupid things and ending up in some places that were toxic, not necessarily, like, just to myself, but just in general. It was just a bad place to be at. And I didn't want to be there. And then finally, one day, um, I felt like an urge to kind of like go back. And my friend, uh, his name's Tyler, he actually asked me a pretty big question. He's like, so what do you think happens after this? And I said, well, I think I'm going to heaven. And from that point on, I really started to question, who am I? Where am I? Have I really earned anything? Do I mean anything? Did what I say actually resound? And I look back and I was so far away. I had, I had held on to something that someone had said, you know, I went and, oh, I learned about Jesus, you know, but I never experienced him. And then that actually brought me to my room and I just broke down and cried. I'm just bawling, which doesn't happen for me typically. I don't typically cry. But pretty much what happened was I felt in me, pretty much Jesus came and said, you're done chasing things that aren't there. It's not going to fill it up. You're hungry for something only I can give you. Come home. Amen. 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 Lee, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So if anybody would like to come uh, and lay a hand on any one of these young men as we pray for them, we invited just to come on in and we're going to have a prayer tonight. So. Oh, I'm going to you. Anybody that wishes to come, come on, you can come in and lay a hand. All right, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we are so grateful for your work of mercy and grace and love and wonder in the lives of these young men. We pray, Lord, that you will lead them and guide them and bless them and fill them. Expand, Lord, their faith in amazing ways. We pray that you will make each of them a mighty man for you. 
that the world will know, and the world will speak of them, and will speak their name with honor and with uh, with awe at what God has done in their lives. Lord, none of us is worthy to come to you, but you have blessed us and invited us to come. And so now we pray for each of these young men tonight. We pray for Seti, that your blessing will rest upon him. For Elias, for Bizimana, for Benjamin, for Lee, for Pascal. Lord, that your love and all that you desire to do in their lives would just explode forth before them. Thank you that you love these young men, that you have a great future in front of them. We look forward to hearing about the way they become leaders to their families, in the community and in the church. How they reach out to others and bring them to faith in you. How they show the way, not because they're perfect, Lord, but because they're seekers of you. We ask now for you to bless them. And we as the church surround them and bless them.
una pontita sasa Ok, angina, jipia Mana, angina, yana 